Hey there, welcome to the Lucy Lemire channel. Today is February 11th. Welcome to your February 11th daily guidance. Whoa, oh, that's weird. Okay. Um, today the deck that wants to talk to you is the Romance Angels. When I started this video, I thought for sure it was going to be the Angel Answers, but then they decided to swap out. As they, they, they tapped out and they said, nah, you go. So I'm like, alright, that's weird, but hey, we'll go with it. Um, we're going to be using, ooh, the new deck of Romance Angels. I'm so thankful to have this deck. It was gifted to me lovingly, and I, 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 I don't know what I, I, I did to deserve it, but I have totally wanted a new Romance Angels deck. Um, for anybody who's been curious, I will be doing, eventually, at some point, a Runner Chaser. <clears throat> I want to do another You and the Boo. I would like to do a long distance love because I have been talking about that for months. I recorded one, but I, well, it never aired. <laughs> it never aired. Um, <clears throat> may I please have the guidance, please, for today, February 11th, y'all. Haven't seen you guys in a while. What do you have to say for us? What do you have for us today? Okay, cool. Oh, fuck, I don't know what to do with you. That's just the worst card to get. <laughs> I'm not a fan. Um, ooh, yeah, I mean, it is always religious factors, but that's why. Why are you here? Why are you here? Oh, God, this fucking card. Okay, mm, your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Um... I, uh, I, I don't like this card because it, it's literally a grab bag. It's, it's like a big, well, duh, like, but then again, you know, sometimes I watch these over and, and I learn something, um, how do you mean, uh, and heart to heart, uh, I, I learned something and then I'm always like, why would Lou say that? Why, <laughs> why would she say that about herself? <laughs> Why would she gloss over that as though that didn't just, like, give me the insight that I needed for today, you know? Um, I feel like I, I, uh, past loose needs, to, per, this loose talking right now needs to be a little bit gentler on, on, on the messages, uh, that sh she delivers. Um, so, you know, perhaps today you need to know this, that the things going on in your life are... Are, are are going on in your life um, and they are influenced by your spiritual path and and the path that only you can 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 walk truly just just you it has to be you it had to be you wonderful you 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 I don't know if that's how the song really goes, but in my mind, that's how it goes. It has to be you. It's an old song. I like my TCM classic movies. Oh, that's like saying I like my Turner classic movies, classic movies. Um, excuse me. Uh, <laughs> um, ugh, the fact that this, sorry, the codependency card came out and, oh God, on the credit love, we took a turn. Um, to me, what I see here is this woman who's crowned. Um, she she's you know stepped into her sovereignty. She's um, she she may not know it. She reminds me of Wonder Woman actually. I mean, she has a glorious neck. I don't even know if this person exists in real life. She probably does. She gorgeous. She is gorgeous. Oh my god, her crown has like the ank. I think the Jewish star, the Om, is that Christ? Truly, her path is influenced by her religious upbringing. <laughs> look at that. You see that? Her crown? I never noticed that. I don't look at this card a lot. I see it and I'm just like, ugh, God. <laughs> just because, why? Um, she's just the majorest, majoriest of the major arcana. Like, why would you... She irks my soul. But yeah, I feel like 
it's not only sort of a, a comment to moving in your highest good, right? Like, moving... Excuse me. Oh, God, I'm showing you all the behind the scenes. It's such a mess right now. This card. Um, this message, rather. It's... I get it. It reminds me of um, how you act. At the end of the day, um, how you act, given certain circumstances, is a reflection on you, you know? Um, people can treat you all sorts of ways. Good ways, bad ways, positive ways, negative ways. You can judge someone's actions today differently from how you judge them a week later when you have more information or less information, you know? Um, but ultimately, how we go about judging people um, is based off of their behaviors. Yes, there's prejudice. Yes, there is... Um, there is uh, stereotyping, yes, there is, you know, class systems in certain countries, um, but really, if you think about it, if you don't buy into the class system, and you treat yourself like fucking God's child, <coughs> okay, if you treat yourself like a spark of the fucking divine, okay, if, if you treat yourself as God made man, not in a Kanye West type of way, but, but in a in a way where you realize that you 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 have the Holy Spirit in you, you know you have the 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 you, the breath of God, the breath of life, the breath of the universe in you. Um, yeah, you would put up with certain stuff from yourself or from others because you have a, a higher uh, caliber of of respect, of worth. Um then you do now, period. You wouldn't put up with shit from yourself. You wouldn't put up with shit from others. Because, what? Huh? No. People, you know, there's people who are huge fans of, like, the royal family, and they would say, oh, how could you say that about the queen? And it's like, you're American. Like, you, what is your tie to the queen? Like, you just, they just like royalty. They like the idea of royalty. And yet, you say that, stuff about, you know, someone in their life, and they're like, eh, you know, or if someone said that stuff about themselves, it's like, eh, how many of us really stand up for ourselves in the way that we stand up for our, our, our bestie, or how we stand up for ourselves, or how we treat ourselves in the way that we treat our, our, our pets, right, and you have friends who, who give their pets the highest grade food, I have a friend whose parents, um, make their dog steak, they will grill a steak, for their dog, cut it up in, in pieces. Uh, the, there's, there's people who know that their pets are particular about the kind of water they drink. Um, people who buy a specific brand of food because their dog is sedity as fuck. <laughs> their cat is as posh as fuck. And they treat themselves not as well as they treat their, their, their pet. Um, uh, parents who treat, who treat their children really well and yet wind up not treating themselves well. Guess what your children are learning, man? You know, what are you showing them in the, in the different ways that they can learn? So, with this religious factors, um, she has a crown that she doesn't know of. But you can bet your sweet ass she's moving in her fucking power. Ain't no way someone's walking around with that much fucking glow without feeling some sense of wonder fucking woman. Like, Wonder Woman is the shit. You, you watch Wonder Woman today. You go, you go... You go meet Gal Godot, okay? Let her be your your spirit animal today because she is a queen amongst queens. Um, her the, the character of Wonder Woman to me is amazing. She is true feminine human in that she is vulnerable and bold. She is strong and strong. And she is... Not a girl, not yet a woman. Like, she's just everything, you know? She's she's the shit. And she knows she's the shit, but doesn't act like she's better than anyone. She just knows that she deserves better than most people know they deserve. She doesn't... She, she, she treats herself with respect. 
and it's not in a prudish way. No, like none of these labels would be applied to her, to Diana. She just, she operates in a world of her own where she stands in her own. She knows who she is. She likes what she likes. She doesn't like what she doesn't like. If, and she accepts herself. That's really what it is. She accepts, she, she accepts herself. She, and that's without her even knowing with this hovering fucking ass crown. <laughs> Sorry, I'm swearing a lot, aren't I? Um, I, I can't control it. <laughs> Bite your tongue. No, I can't. Um, she doesn't even know that she is, ah, uh, Zeus is fucking, like, she's, she's, she, she has truly the breath of, you know, the gods. She doesn't know that she is the weapon, that she, spoiler alert, <laughs> and we should have watched it, um, she doesn't know that she is the breath. Oh, wow, look at that, it connected. I am so amazed, wow. Thanks for being here, spirit, I appreciate you. <laughs> Um, she doesn't, she doesn't know, she's, but she still has this inert belief in herself that she's cultivated over time, a sense of justice, a sense of right, a sense of wrong, and innocence, and a strength, and a purity, and a, uh, a wisdom at the same time. You know, she has all these juxtapositions that make sense. She's true to herself and her, her, her. She is her. And, you know, she, she, the, the, the otherworldly external things don't take her off her course of being her. She is the spark of the divine embodied. And she is you, man. She is you. You, 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 right now, you. Claim your sovereignty. That's what the membership is a bit like. I, I aim that to, to be that. Obviously, it's at different levels. Um... The Alumas, the Luminaires, and the Phoenixes, it's, it's different depths of stepping into your sovereignty and claiming that at the level that you, you're, 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 you're ready and able to, to do with that. And different support for each of those, different perks. But really, it's just, it's just stepping into who you, who you are. Who you are. You're, you're God's fucking child, man. What the fuck? You know, you're, you're, you're the, you are spirit, source, made man, dude. Do you know who you are? Did you forget? Did you forget? Did you forget? You forgot. I'm gonna remind you right now. You better share this video with somebody who needs it. <laughs> Save this to your fucking archives and listen to it when you need to and don't need to remind yourself of who the fuck you are. You're, you're the breath of not even stardust you are the breath of fucking life itself made human moving living breathing creating you're the shit did you forget that maybe today you're remembering that you're the shit maybe today you're re reacquainting with the fact that you're the fucking shit like you're awesome awesome like a w e Oh, you are a, a creature who is on this earth, living, breathing, creating, just being here in awe. Like, your life is awe. You're awesome, man. The sum of all awe. Like, you are awe. <laughs> it's amazing. And we forget this. No, I'm Brenda. No, fucking, you're awesome. Like, you're awe. <laughs> you're the sum of awe. Damn it! Oh, I'm 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 just a carpenter. I, I I'm just a secretary. Oh, I'm just I'm just two hundred and seventeen pound. Like fucking fuck that shit. Like you're a fucking beast. You know, you're you're the shit. Do you do? Did you forget? How did you forget? When did you forget that you were the shit, man? When did you fall into these fucking bum ass traps of? Forgetting who the fuck you were. <laughs> not a fan of this card. <laughs> not a fan of this. Because it's just, it's a tricky one. Because it's just so ambiguous. But when I look at this woman, she's awesome. Look at her. That's you. 
That's you. This crown is the divine. This glow, you got this glow. She ain't over there. She's not under there. She's you. She's inside you. This this is you radiating when you're in your fucking essence and in your fucking power and in your sovereignty. This is you when you claim that shit and you step into who you are and you're like, this is me. This is you. This is what you end up... You you glow. You're in essence. You are essence. You are in the essence. Like, you are fucking washed over and shit. Like, your crown is hovering all over you because you're just glowing so fucking much. It's amazing. You're amazing. But you forgot somewhere along the way, I guess. I mean, we all did, didn't we? At some point or another. Remember. Remember who you're talking about. Remember who you fucking are. Moana. You're gorgeous. Fuck. You explore. You don't fucking settle. You go for the best. Get your glow back, man. And if, if, if you have gotten your glow, if you got a taste of your glow today, fuck, ride that shit all the way home, man. Breathe it in. Enjoy it. Bathe in it. So you don't forget. (sighs) You're here for a reason. And whether or not you know that reason doesn't mean you're not living it. Period. That's what I used to talk about a lot in my coaching and speaking. A lot of people want to find their purpose. Your purpose, bitch. Sorry. <laughs> your purpose your purpose is with you, man. You gotta find shit. It's with it's with you. It ain't it ain't go nowhere. It's on you. You can't shake that shit off. It's on you. No matter what you do, your purpose is showing itself in there. You just what I what I what I would do I have to bring that to the membership because obviously my worlds are converging. But what I would do instead, if it's not about finding your purpose, it's about connecting you to your purpose within you. You're already it's not even connecting, it's um it's more so drawing your attention to it. That's why I really love talking about shadow work. But when I talk about shadow work, I realize people talk about it differently from the way I do. People villainize the shadow, vilify the shadow. When, what the fuck, that's just your shadow. Like, you don't go outside when it's sunny and say, Oh, what is that dark thing on the ground? Like, that's just fucking a part of you, shit. It's just, it just is. It's there. It, it, it's there. It, the people, anyway. Anyway. Sometimes our purpose is hidden in the things that we don't want to acknowledge about ourselves. I'm a huge advocate for shadow work, man. I talk about it extensively all the time. It comes up because it's a thing. In 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 the in the member I don't mean to keep talking about the membership, but like I I will. Um some of you at uh especially at the luminaire level, you know what I'm talking about with the audios that I've put up there, how to get in touch with your shadow and how to understand what it is in the way that I ha- I have built that relationship. There's some golden nuggets in there. We just forgot you relegated it away. Do you know this? We put our greatness in the shadow too. <laughs> I've done it. I've done it. And it, it, it hurts me because some, you just, it, it takes a while for you to realize that, yeah, you, you give yourself permission to be that great. Doesn't that suck? Sometimes you do have to give yourself permission to be as great as you are and fucking be as great as you are. You have to give yourself permission to realize, okay, you know what, I am God's child. <laughs> what? Oh my god, I am spark of the divine. What? I am light. I have light. I can heal people, myself, the world. I can do this. And stepping into that, that's bold as fuck. And that's what you're capable of. But we put that shit in the shadow because, you know, it's just too great and I can't be that great. Remember who you fucking are, man. Um... And keep that light on. <laughs> Always. This is that light, by the way, that I talk about. When I say keep your light on, burn this into your head. This is the light I am talking about. This essence, this motherfucking natural ass glow. That's the shit I'm talking about. Keep this light on. So that what's yours, this fucking crown, can 
find you. I don't like these um, fingerprints on here. They're kind of ruining my vibe. <laughs> I don't know, it's like 2 a.m., 3 a.m. people are texting me. <sighs> Keep your light on the good luck.